It's a deal. Well, almost. GE and Vivendi have agreed on a price for the French company's 20% stake in NBC Universal, clearing the way for Comcast CEO Brian Roberts to gain control of one of America's largest entertainment companies, NBC Universal. Our own Greg Miles is here. And Greg, how did GE and Vivendi finally agree on a price tag here? Yeah, a lot of haggling over the past month. And it looks as though, you know, based on people familiar with these talks, that Vivendi and GE, uh, you know, essentially compromised. Okay, uh, Jean Bernard Levy, uh, the, uh, the CEO of Vivendi, okay, he essentially wanted a lot of cash up front to protect him in case this uh, uh, Comcast NBCU uh, partnership took a long time to get approved by regulators. He did not get that, but what he apparently got was apparently $2 billion worth of insurance where he, he'd be paid that if, in fact, this merger did not go through by the end of 2010. So that looks up, uh, $2 billion is up. Nice figure. What about Jeff Melt of GE? What does he get here? Well, Jeff Melt, what he did is he got, uh, you know, Vivendi to agree, okay, uh, to essentially lowering the valuation or price, really, at which they get bought out for their 20% stake in NBCU. The original valuation, which uh, Comcast and GE had come up with about a month ago, was about $30 billion total, which valued uh, Vivendi's stake at $6 billion. Now, apparently, uh, Melt got uh, Vivendi to agree uh, to a valuation of around $5.8 billion, so a lower price, which is good for Melt because he does not want to pay a lot because uh, uh, that would make uh, that would make it harder for uh, for Brian Roberts who wants to get into this deal. Now speaking of Brian Roberts, this is the last obstacle for him to get NBC Universal, right? If you're Brian Roberts, you're probably feeling uh, pretty good right now. Uh, <laughs> Home stretch. He really, he has a chance to really to, to create one of the world's most diverse entertainment companies. We're talking about uh, Comcast, uh, uh, the nation's number one uh, cable company already. Okay, they've got some content assets and, and Versus, uh, the Golf Channel, also E Entertainment. He brings a whole lot of cash to the deal. Then you look at NBC. Uh, a very diverse company in itself, mostly content. You've got you've got basically the, the primetime networks. You've got uh, cable. You've got the, uh, the the movie houses, and you've also got essentially uh, the theme parks. Uh, you put those together, you got quite a combination. At the same time, there's a concern that when you look at the primetime or the or the network ratings for uh, NBC, they've fallen 43 percent over the past decade, which is much more than uh, CBS and Fox and uh, a little bit more than ABC, but 43% kills your ads and kills a lot of other stuff. And stock prices reflect that, don't they? Uh, Comcast uh, shares, uh, by the way, down around 15% or 7 to $8 billion since news of this deal uh, uh, leaked out. Mm. So Brian Roberts, one of his biggest challenges is going to be to sell investors that this deal is going to add value long term because of the short term, it's detracted value, just news of it. Right, even as it takes up more free cash. That's right. All right, thank you so thank much, you. Greg.